University of Pennsylvania swimmer Leah Thomas taking first place in the NCAA 500 yard freestyle. She is the first transgender athlete to be crowned NCAA champion, but not without controversy because critics say she has an unfair physical advantage over the other swimmers and should not have been allowed to compete. Now, second place went to University of Virginia swimmer Emma Wyant, who won a silver medal in last year's Tokyo Olympics. She's getting an outpouring of support on social media, with some calling her the true winner. And we saw Lauren at that medal ceremony. Uh, the crowd was virtually silent when Leah Thomas was announced the, the winner, the first place winner, and yet they went crazy cheering for the second place. Because winner. Leah Thompson um, Thomas went through puberty right as, as a boy she has bigger lungs bigger arms bigger hands and now she's competing against women who don't have that physically so they viewed the second place winner uh, Emma Wyant as the first place winner I think this is a major issue for so many athletes so many parents out there who are raising athletes because the rules of the game are are changing and we're figuring out what they should be should transgender athletes have an asterisk next to their name if they win right because Leah was like number 467 when she competed as a male now she's number one as a female I mean it just it's a tough issue and I I think it's going to be an election issue as well and Joe Concha so Martina Navratilova tennis legend came out sort of said the exact same thing she said maybe maybe the solution in the interim is that you say you know you're honoring the decisions of these transgender athletes but you're not negatively affecting those who have worked so hard to get where they are so maybe you put an asterisk by the name you reserve medals uh, you, you come up with some type of interim solution in in the gray area right now Joe that's that's not a bad idea at all and if the producers just put up that full screen real quick if you could the first mm -hmm. uh, full screen showing the three swimmers because yeah. that really hits home in terms of the advantage right uh, that that we're seeing here and look my wife is a former division one athlete right and look at that guys uh, and, and she would tell me about the training regimen that she had to go through in terms of being on the track team at her school on top of being pre-med it's just such an overwhelming commitment and for these girls that are competing knowing knowing when they go into a competition that they're gonna lose because one person they're competing against has a decided physical advantage. It's a whole ball of wrong. But if you criticize this, somehow you're anti-trans somehow. Of course not. It's just a matter of asking for a level, competitive playing field. And I don't see why that's controversial in any way. And Harris, we have parents, um, actually a, a video of them that, that spoke with Fox Digital earlier, um, and they sort of made that same point. They said this isn't really the right place to honor those decisions of transgenders because it's negatively impacting the biological females that have worked so hard. We'll play a bit. We do not support a biological male swimming in the women's championship meet against females. It is an unfair advantage. He's a human, we should respect that and what he wants to do with his life, but this isn't the place to do it. It's taken opportunity away from females that have worked very, very hard for a long, long time, even before college, to get into this position, and uh, it's just not right. So I, I think it is worth bearing, saying again, this is not about a lack of love for trans, transgender community. It's about also honoring who they are and their journey. Maybe either an asterisk or a separate but equal division. It, you know, we gotta come up with an answer. These are our children.